Dear friends, my name is Dr. Igor and uh, I'm a clinical oncologist practicing since 2010. Today we will talk about brewer's yeast as a source of different um, nutritional substances and vitamins. Let's get started. So brewer yeast is the yeast that is uh, used for um, producing alcohol for producing for making beer and uh, this yeast is um, um, fermenting the sugar into alcohol and uh, so we get this drink they during their life uh, they will produce a lot of different substances a lot of vitamins uh, they will um, produce proteins peptides that is needed for their life but uh, if we consume them, for example, we can get all these uh, good and healthy substances. So what do they contain? First of all, this is a good source of uh, vitamins uh, group B, B1, 2, 3, 6, 7, fold 8. Also, they produce some uh, B12 vitamin. Uh, they can be a source of selenium, copper, chromium, polysaccharides, peptides and protein. Uh, these elements may be uh, good for your neural system, for mm, your metabolism, for renewal of blood cells, for vision, for skin and bone health. Biopeptides uh, in, their, in the brewer's yeast uh, are the unique sequences of uh, amino acids and they can affect uh, the digestive, immune, cardiovascular and neural systems. Uh, also, there are some other biopeptides in other products, no, not only in brewer's yeast. These are meat, eggs, cereals, legumes, vegetables, seafood, fish, mushrooms, and all of them have some unique properties and effects on our health. You can see the big table, and there are many other tables. So if you want to see it, I will leave the link for this article about the action of bioactive peptides from brewer yeast on our body. First of all, is lowering of blood pressure. And uh, the effect was uh, not worse. Uh, it was similar to uh, the common drugs against, uh, against uh, the high blood pressure, ACE inhibitors, but they didn't cause the typical side effects like cough or allergies. Also, antioxidant action. Um, in major, it's due to selenium, but also to other uh, contents of the brewer yeast. For example, they can protect liver from toxins, they can protect skin from uh, ultraviolet light, they can protect stomach, for example, from some um, aggressive substances. Also, anti-diabetic action to reduce blood sugar, antimicrobial action against bacteria and fungi. Also, they can attach iron, and this can be used in future to make uh, halate forms of iron that will uh, be attached to this uh, yeast and, uh, I mean, for, to bioactive peptides from yeast, and they can be absorbed more easily. And uh, they are actively used in cosmetics nowadays due to its anti-aging effects, because they can block elastase, collagenase, hyaluronidase, these are enzymes that will um, break down the uh, elastic and collagen uh, fibers, uh, hyaluronic uh, acid and uh, uh, all everything that is needed for good and um, healthy skin without wrinkles, for strong bones. That's why this uh, yeast can be uh, used uh, for these purposes to protect the skin and joints and bones. Also, they increase collagen synthesis and produce new vessels. Uh, but these are preclinical studies and uh, there is no good clinical data that will prove that it really works in real life. In general, we, the courses are one to two months, then you need to rest for one to three months. The indications for intake of brewer's yeast are skin diseases, uh, for example, Bronchiolosis, psoriasis, and eczema, acne, seborrhea, then uh, malnutrition or some strict diets, for example, vegetarians, uh, severe stress to the body, it can be infections, it can be physical, mental stress, uh, it can be recovery from various diseases because the body will need 
lots of uh, nutrients to recover. Uh, the diseases of heart, blood vessels of blood, atherosclerosis, arterial hypertension, anemia, uh, in alcoholism, in deficiency of B vitamins and microelements. There are some contraindications or when you need to use them with real caution. For example, uh, if uh, the patient has a really a severely impaired immunity, uh, like uh, AIDS, like sepsis, like mechanical ventilation, uh, very hard surgery, if uh, the patient is taking um, the drugs to suppress immunity, uh, for example, organ transplant patients, it's um, associated with the intake of live yeast, because uh, there are many uh, articles in PubMed uh, where you can see the registered cases of serious infections in patients with uh, low immunity, who are, for example, taking, who are di diabetic, by the way, who are taking um, corticosteroids, prednisone, uh, dexamethasone, for example, um, and they may have uh, really serious infections due to this yeast. Also, there is one more article about the urinary infection due to uh, the brewer's yeast. That's why if somebody has a, a impaired immunity or diabetes, it's better not to take this supplement. Also, gout, individual intolerance, taking the drugs against uh, Parkinson's disease. Uh, all children under the age of three are also relative contraindications to the intake of uh, brewer's yeast. Why? The thing is uh, that uh, the mold produces toxins. And the mold may affect some um, food, uh, some grains, reals, legumes, fruits, vegetables. Um, and this toxin, um, if we consume it, it will damage kidneys, it will damage liver, and it's really cancerogenic. It can cause uh, liver cancer. And um, the hay, corn, wheat, uh, rice, uh, different spices, peanuts, and uh, coffee, uh, sunflower seeds, they can be contaminated by this mold and by this toxin. And uh, if uh, they, for example, feed their chicken or, por or pigs with this, and we consume eggs, milk, uh, we consume uh, meat, uh, then we can get this toxin into our body. Also, if the beer is brewed from contaminated products, uh, we can get this toxin too. Uh, during the brewing process, the um, brewer's yeast will absorb some of this toxin, um, cleaning uh, the product, clean, cleaning the beer, cleaning the wine, uh, but uh, they will absorb it and they will be contaminated. That's why if we consume it, we will get this toxin too. That's why, oh, by the way, it's heat, heat resistant, but it's uh, ozone sensitive, so you can destroy it by ozone. According to one of the works, they analyzed about 40 samples of different brewer's yeast, and they found that 90% was contaminated uh, with this toxin. And um, although most concentrations were really low, but sometimes uh, some samples were, had really high concentrations. That means that for kids and for pregnant women, uh, it's better not to use, not to choose this supplement as a source of uh, neutral uh, of uh, different uh, substances that I that I was talking about, like B vitamins and selenium and copper and chromium, etc. Uh, this is all for today. I hope it was interesting for you, and see you in the next videos. Bye bye.